Welcome back to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a study of asymmetry. What makes a haircut asymmetrical versus a symmetrical haircut that appears asymmetrical and how to fit that to the head shape. So we're going to study some head shape and we're going to study some hair cutting. So let's get started. Now when we look at asymmetrical haircuts on the internet, a lot of times what we're going to see is basically things that have just been undercut and the top of the head is disconnected and it flops to one side or the other, giving the appearance of being an asymmetrical haircut, but it's actually symmetrical. Then you go back into like the 80s where Prince had his, you know, asymmetrical thing where one side was cut short and the other side was kind of a bobbish, kind of graduated bob look and the whole left side was long and the whole right side was short. So when you're doing anything like that where you're going to have some asymmetry, whether it's a symmetrical cut or an asymmetrical cut, the most important thing is fitting it to the head. If it doesn't fit the head, then it always looks a little funky. So in studying the head shape, first thing I want to pay attention to is separating the front half of the head from the back half of the head. So I've got everything separated like I want. I've got the front separated from the back and I got the back split in half. So now I'm going to take a, a smaller section. I've already got this short graduation underneath, so I want to change the angle of that because this is a pretty low kind of bob stack graduation, and I want to bevel that out because I want to put a lot more texture in it. So I'm going to start in the center, and I'm going to keep that even until I get to the corner of my hairline, and then I'm going to pull everything back to that so I can start building my length on the left side at that point. On the right side, I'm going to keep everything even all the way over, and I'm probably going to end up cutting this side really short. So now I'm going to go through and start cutting the back. I'm going to hold this out and I want to make sure I keep it at that elevation and then just choose whatever length that I think would be appropriate and cut that down and bevel that line. Right through here, what's a little tough, I'll just go through and cut on the inside of my fingers. Now I've started to bevel the shape. I will go through and take a parallel section on the left side, pull this to the center of the first section and the second section. Pull that out and through. Work that down until I run out of hair. Now I'm going to remove the first section, I have my second section that I've cut right there. I will add my third section. Comb these two to the center of both of those sections. There's my guide. Cut that through. Check that out, that looks good. Remove the second section, now I have the third. I'm moving into the fourth section. I'll comb to the center. Keep my elevation proper. Work that down and through with my feather styling razor. I'm using the Type R blade. So it exposes more blade, so it gives me a cleaner, easier cut. I do have to be more mindful because I could cut myself. Now, at this point, it's right over the corner of my hairline. So now here, I'm going to pull this hair back into my fourth section. So fifth is being pulled into the fourth. Work that down through. Make sure I got that cut like I want. Now I'm going to comb down, check everything. I start to see a little buildup of length right there behind the ear. Now I'm going to go through to the other side. I'm going to start with my center section and I'm going to do the same thing I did to the, the left side on the right side, except when I get to the corner, I'm not going to pull that back. I'm going to continue to walk that around. So this part here is going to get shorter than the other side. So now I'm going to move on to the rest of the back and I'm going to do the same thing. 
I'm going to take a center section, start in the middle, hold this horizontally out, and then cut anything that hangs off over that. Here's my guide dropping out. Follow us on all your favorite social media at Jatai Feather. Take that short. And the idea behind this is I want this whole thing to bevel around the head. I don't want to build up a whole lot of corner in the back. I just want the weight. So by me pulling it out, I get the weight. The razor softens it. And by me following my elevation, which is this elevation, I bevel that whole shape in the back. Now I'm going to pivot from the center, do the same thing as I pivot around to the left side. There's my guide. Work that through. Now this last section, remember, I pulled everything back to the corner of the hairline, so I'm gonna to continue to do the same thing here. Pull this back to the corner of the hairline. There's my length. Cut that down and through to make sure I have my length build up as I'm going towards the front. You can certainly see that building up through there, but yet I still have a nice bevel around the back. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side following my guide. Okay, now I wanna see where the hair wants to separate naturally. So I'll brush everything back see where it wants to kind of fall through here, what I can get away with. I want as much hair going over to my left side as possible, and I want to keep this right side as short and as clean and as light as I can. But I, that's going to depend upon the way that the hair grows and the head shape. So I want to keep combing that back. I think I can get away with about right there. So we're going to comb all of this over based upon the way the hair grows. And I don't want to go too low on this side of the head because then it's going to start to look like a comb over. But if you're going for that emo comb over, then I can go lower. I'm going to comb this straight out from the head. See where I want that length to fall. I want to keep this very soft. So I'm going to go pretty short. I can go as short as I want. I just want to make sure that this is at least exaggerated so it really pops. The shorter that I go here, the longer and the more exaggerated the other side is going to look. So I'll look and see, say, okay, is that short enough? If it is, I'll keep moving. If not, I'll take it shorter. So I'm not sure. So let's try a couple of sections and see how it does. So here I'll walk this section back. Continue to use my previously cut section as my guide. And continue to work that back until I run out of hair and everything blends. I can't get that in there as tight as I want. So I'm going to move on to my Tokyo thinning scissors and I'm going to do a little scissor over comb to fit this underneath here shorter. It will maintain that same sort of razor texture. Just going to take me a few more scissor strokes and a little bit more time to make sure I get everything fit in there nice and smooth and clean. And this is going to be purely visual, whatever my creative inspiration is going to determine looks good. You may like this a little shorter, you may like this a little longer, and that's all okay. Take a parallel section to what I was using before. Now you can see that length overhanging that. So from here, I'm going to pull this straight out from the head. Use my guide length from the back and cut that guide length going forward. It's still going to be slightly disconnected, but it's certainly going to blend a lot better than if I leave that. So what I'll do is I'll go through, cut a little bit, make sure it blends in with the back here, comb it, see how it's blending, 
See how it's going to flow both ways. That's okay. Take my next piece. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Click subscribe and the notification bell to be notified of future Jatai content. Take some of that off so it's not such an extreme disconnection. My next piece, there's very little. Got a little bit right there. We'll work that through. Now here, I'm gonna start on the, the long side. I'm gonna pull everything straight back to where I was cutting it before. You see my guide length there underneath, and I'm gonna take a very, very broad stroke and take anything that hangs over that guide length from the back off. And everything is gonna get pulled back to that corner of the hairline. So now we've got this longer piece here. You can see it's certainly starting to develop some length in the front. Now to make sure that this fits in, I think that's probably a little bit heavy in the front. So let's take a little bit more weight out of the front. Pull that through, channel some of this out. So I leave length, but I'm taking out weight and creating separation. We'll take our next piece. A little bit less, it doesn't need as much, but I wanna make sure I still have separation that's gonna to compare to that first piece I cut right around the front. Now we're gonna take the rest of the hair on top in sections, in parallel sections to what I've cut underneath, and I'm gonna go through and fine tune and fit that in just like I did underneath. A little bit right there. A little bit right there. There we go. There's a lot of bit right through there. That's looking all right. This is a little heavy. So after I cut my length to fit, I'm going to go through and channel some of that weight out. See if the weight is good around the front here, which I think we need to take a little bit out here around the front. Comb that over, see how that's looking. That's looking pretty good. I am gonna go through and blend some of our bang here. I don't like the way that that's hanging out, so I'm gonna go through and blend some of that out. And that will just be very gently razoring short to longer to get it out of the face. I think that's looking pretty good. Now let's go through and blow it dry and see what we got. Here's our end result. We got a, a nice little longer side on the left side of the head, fills in nice behind the ear, nice fitted in down at the nape. We got a little shorter, fits in real clean behind the right ear to our shorter side. We've got a nice blend from our short little undercut bang over into the long side. And we got a lot of separation, a lot of texture to really make that curl kind of stand out. And I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty cool. You look hip, dear. 
please check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great information on there to make you a better hairdresser and barber. Also, let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.